we both had a conversation about how we had a lot of trouble writing in general, and that was a big reason why we couldn't finish our PhDs, I guess. We've evolved from uh, like meeting once in a while and just sitting next to each other uh, writing uh, to being more of a support group, uh, talking about the writing process, reading each other's text. Now we meet almost every day. <laughs> Including weekends. But yeah. in the beginning, we were meeting once a week, and then it went up to tw- twice. And I think because we have deadlines, um, we are working every day. So when we, when we read each other's text, we're looking for consistency in logic, consistency in language, um, and, a, and a structure that follows, um, um, follows the aim of the text. Um, so sometimes um, uh, it can be a good thing that uh, Sandhya is not in my field because she represents a reader uh, with little prior knowledge about the topic. And uh, if I uh, make assumptions about certain things being common knowledge, uh, she can point out that, no, I actually explicitly have to state um, certain things. Yeah. When I first gave Kaisa my text and when she um, gave me hers, it was very much uh, bullet points in an order that were not even paragraphs um, and some incomplete sentences that we still even had to make sense of. And I think you can already gain a lot from that um, even if you don't, you get any useful feedback and you start to understand how complete something needs to be before it can be um, analyzed and critiqued um, by someone else. So I think it's really important to, to just start reading each other's work, even if it's not perfect. So in the beginning, uh, it might be more useful that I um, say that like, this part is working and this is not, and this is a problem with the structure. And then at a, at a later <coughs> time, when the text is, uh, actually has a, has a nice structure and is more readable, then I can just go for the little things. Often we'll decide that we're going to share our texts in, you know, in three hours. And uh, then um, that the pressure of like, knowing that you have this deadline uh, makes you work more, being more focused. Mm-hmm. So if I'm uh, writing and I get tired and I look up and look at uh, Sandhya and she's working, that inspires me to keep working and uh, the other way around. And we're not afraid to tell each other, you know, stop watching YouTube videos, go back <laughs> to work. Yes. To start a writing group, you need uh, a writing partner. You need a space to work. Uh, and uh, like a text to work on. Yeah, and it and it almost doesn't matter where you work. Um, we've in the beginning um, met at cafes, um, at each other's, well, at her home, at my office. So I think uh, it. What is important is that if you have an aim as to what you want to achieve in the session and if you have something that you're working on and you have someone to work with then that's a writing club.